Hello, and welcome to another episode. In this astronomy episode, I want to cover the galaxy M106, how to find it, and what's great about it. It comes from a really interesting part of the night sky, below the handle of Ursa Major, and above the small Canis Venetis constellation. In this area of the night sky, there are five Messier galaxies, as well as several smaller um, galaxies. It's a really great um, area of the night sky for northern observers, as it's always visible throughout the year, as Ursa Major is a, a circumpolar constellation. In fact, I've already covered this, uh, this area of the night sky in previous videos, such as the M51 galaxy video. But anyway, let's get on to M106. So, to find the M106 galaxy, I would recommend finding the Gamma Ursa Majoris star located in the bottom corner of the Big Dipper or the Plough, and then head towards the bright star Cor Coroli in the Canis Venesi constellation. Now, as you head towards Cor Coroli, look for a bright star along the route. You need to stop here, then head down to a small bright star nearby. Once there, you should be able to head about halfway between these two stars to locate the M106 galaxy. It should be visible in a pair of binoculars in dark skies in good conditions. However, using my 9x50 finder scope, which is pretty much the strength of a standard pair of binoculars, I couldn't see it, so I can confirm that we will need particularly dark skies to see in a pair of binoculars. When you find this in your telescope, you should see something that looks roughly like this. And here's a stacked view of the galaxy. M106 is actually the site of galactic fireworks that involves a supermassive black hole, gas, and shock waves. The shock waves are heating up a large reservoir of gas equal to about 10 million of our suns and are composed mostly of hydrogen molecules. These waves are believed to be caused by powerful jets of energy generated by the central black hole as it strikes the galaxy's disk. The waves in turn heat up the gas at temperatures of thousands of degrees. The gas is thought to have originated in the galaxy's disk, but was then heated up and ejected by the jets from the black hole. Unfortunately, M106 has already ejected most of its gas, and it will likely eject the remaining gas in the next 300 million years, which will mean, unless it can resupply the gas somehow, to reduce the number of stars that can be formed in the M106 galaxy. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Uh, if you have any questions, then please do ask them in the comments below. If you like the episode, please give us a like because it really helps out the channel. And if you'd like to see more astronomy videos, then please do subscribe. Goodbye and clear skies.